Hello everyone, in today's video we will see how to create custom Azure resource roles using PowerShell as well as uh, the console. If I go under Azure AD, go under roles and administrator. So these are the roles like global administrator, Intune administrator or application administrator. These are the default roles. But in this video we will talk about the Azure resource roles for our IAS and PaaS services. So if I go under my subscription, go under my IAM, click on add role assignment. So these are the roles like owner, contributor, readers, which we can apply on our at our subscription level, management group level, our resource group level. So, so we will create a custom role for one of these uh, roles here using PowerShell first, then the console. So we will create a custom role for storage data storage blob data contributor role so first of all for that in the powershell we will have to get this role and convert it into a json file so the command would be get az role definition and we have to specify the name of it the name is storage Log data contributor convert to JSON file SEC dot JSON. So now it has been converted into a JSON file which we will modify and create a custom role so it's under my c users another folder so this is the json file here uh, we will specify the name of the new role which we are creating copy of storage blob data contributor this is the description so it's a custom role Actions here specify the management actions which this uh, new custom role will be able to perform. For example here, blob services container delete read write. So this means that this role can delete a container, read a container, but not the data inside it. Data actions part specify what data actions they can perform. So this account can delete the data, read data from a blob and write data to the blob. Under not actions, we can specify what actions this account cannot perform, what management actions this account cannot perform. Under not data actions, we can specify the things which this account cannot perform on data. We can also create a custom role where under actions or under data actions, we can specify asterisk so they can do all the tasks. And under not data action or not actions, we can specify specific tasks which they cannot do. For our demo, we will remove the data actions. So this account will only be able to perform management tasks now on the blobs, but no data action. Under assignable scope, this means it's applied at the root level. So we will modify it and apply it at our subscription level. So we will have to specify here our subscription ID. So I have pasted my subscription ID. Now I will save this as a JSON file. So it has been saved. Now we will create a new AZ role definition from the JSON file which we created and I will specify the name of that JSON file. So now my copy storage blob data contributor role has been created. So let's go back to our Azure console. I will try to add a role assignment here and select for copy. So we have created a copy of a storage blob data contributor, which has permission only to perform management tasks on the blob containers, but not the data tasks. They cannot read, write or delete the data. So this is how you create using PowerShell. In the console, you can go under create a custom role and you can select clone a role. You can select storage blob data contributor here. Storage. 
here are the permissions these are the management actions and these are the data actions so we will remove data actions from here here we have to select the scope by default it's at uh, subscription level but we can move it to our resource group levels as well so these are my resource groups so it will show you the json file here and we'll click on next and we'll create it so we have created the same role using console as well so i have uh, both the roles here both both are same roles but uh, one has been created using powershell other has been created using console i hope you like this uh, small video on how to create custom roles for azure resources and please uh, like and uh, subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye